Hi everyone. For those that have been following my pre-season content, you'll know that I won't be sharing any more of my own drafts until FPL goes live. But what I will be doing in this video is reviewing other drafts off FPL Twitter, albeit anonymously. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Team number one, it's a 3-4-3 formation. Unfortunately, they've cropped out the goalkeeper and the bench, so I'm assuming it's budget options. A very robust defence of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Stones and Gabriel, and a very robust attack of Jesus, Haaland and, and Buemo, and of course Mitoma and Nciso with a fantastic run of opening games. Saka is the captain, and also Eze makes starting eleven as well. I feel that the glaring misses here are a United attacker, and of course Mohamed Salah and his fantastic game week one record. So I feel that this is more style over substance. I'll give this a 6 out of 10. Again, a lot of good coverage across the board and template in certain areas. But that's my thoughts on this team. Coming on to team number two. Once again, we see the Liverpool, Arsenal and City defensive cover here. And in this instance, we can see that Ramsdale is in goal. And also, Mohamed Salah is able to make the cut with Tavern March in the midfield as well and Odegaard is the Arsenal midfielder here and yet again we see Haaland and Mbwemo making up the front line in this 3-4-3 formation and Ferguson is also able to be accommodated in this uh, setup as well. We can see the bench here as well which is littered with 4.0 and 4.5 options. I think this is a fairly balanced team and a fairly good 3-4-3. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Coming on to the next draft, we've got a 4-4-2 formation here. And in this team, they've chosen Leno in goal, who will be facing City and Arsenal in the opening four games. And then Astupinen, March and Ferguson are the Brighton cover here, with Mohamed Salah, Saka and Haaland also being accommodated, which is fantastic. Gabriel is the other Arsenal defender that makes the cut here as well. And interestingly enough, they've given Grealish the go-ahead um, in this starting eleven as well. And Coleman and Mitchell also make the mix. So this looks quite interesting. I feel that it's got an, a nice smattering of template players and also good differentials. I'm also going to give this draft a 7 out of 10 as well. Now coming on to the next draft, this is also a 4-4-2 formation. We can see once again, Gabriel makes a cut as does Stones and White. In this case, there's an Arsenal double up here. Botman also makes a cut, despite Newcastle having a tricky opening run of games. We can see that Mitoma also makes this draft, as does Saka. And in this case, from Liverpool, not enough funds for Salah, but there's Diego Jota and also Foden, who makes a mix as well. And again, of course, Haaland is the go-to captain here. And once again, we see Ferguson making the mix. Interestingly enough, Mbwemo is also in this squad, but surprisingly a sub one for the opening fixture and got Soufal and Reed on the bench as well. So I feel that perhaps Mohamed Salah is missing here, but that shouldn't negate the coverage that this team has. I'm going to give this a six and a half out of 10. Now coming on to the next team, this is a... 3-5-2 formation, got Pickford in goal, Shaw, Alexander-Arnold and Estupinen. So that's the first uh, United uh, defender we're seeing in the drafts that I'm reviewing. And then the midfield is Martinelli, Odegaard and Saka. So triple Arsenal in the midfield there. And got March and once again Grealish surprisingly making the cut here as well. And in this um, iteration, Nciso is perceived to be a forward rather than a midfielder so it'll be it remains to be seen what he'll be reclassified as and of course Haaland is the go-to captain coming onto the bench it's just 4.0 4.5 fodder with a 5.0 um, as a sub one there I feel that with this draft it's almost like all in on Arsenal and there's really no Liverpool or Manchester United attacking cover here I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 as well. 
And coming on to the next draft here, we've got a 442 formation, Pickford in goal. And of course, Everton with their opening run of games, they, they've got the likes of Fulham, Aston Villa in the opening two games, but then that's followed up with Wolves and also um, Sheffield United. So it'll be interesting to see how many others pick Pickford. Once again, Alexander Arnold and Shaw make the cut here with a stupin in as well. And James is here as well, with Chelsea having a fantastic run of games after their first match of the season. After that, they'll be playing West Ham, they'll be playing Luton Town, and also they'll be playing Nottingham Forest. So perhaps the patience with James might pay off. And then a very robust midfield of Saka, Salah, Eze and Tav, and Haaland and Mbwemo make the attack there. And then you've got a relatively budget bench there as well. I, I like the fact that you're able to accommodate Saka, Slar and Haaland. I feel that they will be the three go-to template players in many drafts. And whether Mbwemo is a striker or a forward, he'll be a go-to player as well. I'm going to give this draft a seven and a half out of ten. I feel that you've got great balance across the board here. Coming on to my next draft, it's a 3-5-2 formation. Once again, we see Pickford in goal. James makes a cut again, as does Ben White. And we see Matty Cash here in defence as well. But it seems like a very interesting uh, front seven. You've got Mohamed Salah, you've got Foden, March, Haaland and Kane. That's the first draft I'm seeing with Kane in. And you've got Billing and Sharda who make up the midfield as well. And then you've got the smattering of 4.0s uh, on the bench there. So you could call this a premium draft. I'm not really feeling it. It's almost lopsided in some ways, but perhaps it can pay off if Salah, Harlan and Kane all hit the ground running. And one of those differentials also works from the get-go as well. I'm going to give this draft a six and a half out of ten. And then the final draft that I'll be reviewing here, it's a very unorthodox 5-3-2 formation. And you often see a back five being used across multiple drafts during pre-season. And we finally see one here. So in this instance, I like the fact you've got Ramsell in goal, you've got Alexander Arnold, but then the defense seems a bit too budget with Patterson. Bueno and Tarkovsky. I feel that Tarkovsky may not even be 4.0 here. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen there. And then the front five of Sterling, Salah, Casemiro, Kane and Haaland. I feel that that is massively imbalanced there. And then your um, budget options. Brownhill might be 5.0, to be honest with you. And then your other options are fairly budget there as well. Again, I like the fact that you're you're able to accommodate Kane, Salah and Haaland, but at what cost it makes the team lopsided. I'm not fully convinced with this team, especially seeing so many 4.0s in the starting 11. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. So there you have it. My first review from FPL drafts that I've seen off FPL Twitter. Let me know in the comments below what you think of those teams. And as always, if you can like, share and subscribe. That'll be greatly appreciated. Take care, everyone. All the best.